Hey everybody, it's yours truly, Chicken Nugget King 586 here in the mix with a brand new video and you are watching Chicken Nugget King 586 Sports Podcast Show, episode 25. Now we're going to get into box scores, okay, from around the NFL. The Chicago Bears, yeah, I hate you. You beat the Kansas City Chiefs 34-21. The Indiana Colts, the Indianapolis Colts, for that matter, as we speak, beat the Cincinnati Bengals 27-14 in their last preseason game. And today's games, at 7 p.m., we got the Jags going against the Falcons. We got the Miami Dolphins, the 305 boys, going at it with Tampa Bay, Bucks, Dolphins at 7.30 p.m. Make sure you don't miss out on that game. And then tonight at 10 p.m., you have San Fran, the 49ers, going against the Las Vegas Raiders. Shout out to the Raiders Nation out there. Um, and also shout out to the 49ers uh, Nation out there. Even though we have, you know, a complicated, you know, beef right now. But I got to show love, you know, show some respect to you guys. Uh, big shout out to the 49ers faithful out there. Um, I know you guys have high hopes this season, just like my team has high hopes this season. But nevertheless, we're both happy that football is back. Now, with that being said, we're going to talk about Caitlin Clark, all right? Now, Caitlin Clark, to me, is a damn good player. She's definitely a, a talent that you got to watch, that you got to keep an eye on, and when you keep an eye on her, that makes you feel inspired to want to raise your daughters to become basketball players. Regardless of race, it inspires the next generation of little girls to tell the next little girls who want to play ball that, hey, that's going to be me one day. And Caitlin Clark has elevated the game in so many ways. And she's, you know, a true role model to the kids out there. You know, coming from Iowa, getting into the league and getting drafted by the Indiana Fever and, you know, playing basketball the way basketball is supposed to be played. It's a team ball aspect. It's not about her always. It's about her team. And the way she leads her team is just like unbelievable. And she's definitely, you know, headed towards the right track, you know, in this league that they call the WNBA. And I hate that she gets, you know, the disrespect a lot, okay? I hate that she gets the disrespect. And you got to put respect on her name. And um, I see it the same way that hip-hop looks at Eminem. Talented as hell, skilled as fuck, definitely top five, arguably. But people look at him differently, just like they look at Caitlin Clark differently. Because of their race. Because of them being white. And it doesn't matter if you're white, black, Hispanic, Asian. If you got talent that you can bring to the game, then that's all that matters. You know? And you got to bring... If you're bringing that much excitement to the game and you're bringing more eyes to the game, then the game should be proud of that. The game should love to see many, you know different kind of races and beautiful faces look to this game and love this game the way they love any other kind of game. You don't see hockey players getting up in an uproar because there's black hockey players. You don't see MLB players that are Asian, Hispanic, or white getting up in an uproar because there's black baseball players. You don't see 
the PGA getting up in an uproar because of Tiger Woods being, you know, who he is and, and, and the color that he has at all. They don't have no uproar at that. They love to see different talents and different sort of people add their arsenal to what they, you know, have created and what they put out there to the forefront. And by the way, when you talk about basketball, you should talk about it being uh, created out in Canada because Canada created the sport. America came along with it. And when you get involved in basketball and, and get an, and get and get a part of it, well, not get a, get a part of it, but be a part of it. It brings every single culture together as one. That's what it does. And, um, you know, I, I give Caitlin Clark all her props. Every single bit of her pop props. I really salute her. And, you know, I hope she can, you know, continue doing what she's doing. And, you know, bring more beautiful faces and places and different races to the game that they call the WNBA because it's women's basketball, no matter if it's in the Olympics or in the WNBA. Basketball is a global phenomenon, global phenomenon, just like how hip hop is a global phenomenon. It's a global ph phenomenon and a great commodity to the world itself. And um, men and women, we we tend to think that women can't play basketball. We tend to think women can't you know, do anything in the world. They can. You know, it's like the Nas song. I know I can be what I want to be. If I work hard at it, I'd be where I want to be. You know, so if you want to be what you want to be, go out there and manifest your dreams. Don't let no one tell you you can't do it. Don't let no one tell you you can't reach to the mountaintop. Don't let no one tell you that. Boy, girl, man, woman, whatever you are, Go out there and achieve your dreams and live your life to the fullest, man. Because when you're when you're up at the top and when you climb the top of the stairs, everything's so so everything is so beautiful, everything is so great. But when you look downstairs at the bottom, you're gonna see people who hate you, people who debate against you, people who, you know, have all these negative things to say because you're changing the game, you're changing the landscape of the world and the things that you see in society itself. So keep on doing what you're doing positively. You know what I'm saying? Forget the naysayers, forget what people think and, and how they view you. Just keep doing you. You know what I'm saying? Keep doing you, you know? And when you keep doing you, that's what makes you have fans. That's what makes you have, you know, a great demographic. That's what makes you feel like, you know, you can be at the top of the stairs or on top of the world for that matter. Um, you know, and, 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 and by the way, I got to give a big shout out to, um, you know, Stephen Curry too, who's a great, you know, humanitarian too, who, you know, is an advocate for women's basketball himself. And I got to give a shout out to LeBron James, Jalen Duran, all those great NBA players who have the same kind of love and adore and an adoring thought about women's basketball because women basketball have a lot of legends. Cheryl Swoops, Doris Burke, um, Lisa Leslie. It's so many great names that want to be impactful and want to inspire lives. And sports is a great world. It's a great world to be a part of. It's a great community to be a part of. And that's something we could never, ever let go in our lives including mine. So uh, I love sports just like you all love sports. And when it comes to sports and the conversations and the connections that we bring and the com and the chemistry we have, it just makes us all feel at peace and all at one. Um, with that being said, Chicken Nugget King, 586, here in a mix. What a brand new video. I just wanted to get these thoughts ready for episode 25. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the channel, and even give your thoughts on Caitlin Clark. And um, let me know what you think about women's basketball and sports itself. itself. So um, with that being said, tell a Lions fan to tell a Lions fan to come journey, join the journey. Tell a sports fan and a sports fan to come join the journey and join the channel. And um, holla back at your boy. I'm at 233 subscribers. So uh, 
Peace and love. And see y'all. Peace.